Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It's almost Super Bowl Sunday. I'm Nick Rush. He's Adam Luggett. The pigskin preview is here to get you ready for the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers in Las Vegas for Super Bowl 54. Look it, I only recently figured out it was Super Bowl 54 because I'm bad with Roman numerals when they get this high. I was really yes. great at it. Once they got to 50, I was just like, I'm out. I don't don't really know what, what this all is. We just changed yeah. it to the numbers. Uh, 39 was my peak. After that, I just it, – it's anybody's guess. And so, <laughs> yeah, I can't even read them. Anymore. I don't even know what Super Bowl it is. You just said it. I, I still can't remember what Super Bowl it is. Um, but uh, will they ever quit the Roman numerals? Will they, what will they do at 100? I don't know. Um, and it was a great idea initially, right? Because it adds a little bit of prestige to it. Actually, I think it's 53. Because uh, – or 58? 58. Yeah, Bengals are 56, I think. So yeah, that, 58. That L, yeah, yeah. Because 50 is L, V is 5, 3 is 8. Okay, all right, 58. See, I did the cool intro, and I went and messed it up. Oh, well, you're not here for us to give you Roman numeral lessons. You're here for us to talk about the game, how to break it all down, how to make your bets on FanDuel. We'll take care of you. Luck it. Part of me going into this game, there's like, uh, okay, my brain is having a difficult time because – Part of it is saying, Roush, why overthink it? Just it's Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. But then the other part of me, if you go back to the AFC Championship game, and we say, why, why did the Ravens do what they did? Todd Munkin just quit running the damn ball. And if you want to beat the Chiefs, you run the damn ball. Who's better at running the damn ball than the San Francisco 49ers? Nobody. Trent Williams, Debo, McCaffrey. All those, that cast of characters should have something in store for the Chiefs to, to really throw a wrench in there. But then if you look at the other side of the coin and you just watch the what the 49ers have done for you lately, they haven't looked like the 49ers in the playoffs. Like it, they don't. So are, are, are they just going to wake up and all of a sudden be the, the game wreckers that they were in the regular season now? It's. Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes, I don't I don't know, because it felt like they kind of got in here on the skin of their teeth. Yeah, I, I, I don't see how you bet against Mahomes here. I really don't. But I do think the Niners' A game is probably better than the Chiefs' A game. So they put it all together. I think they could be hard to stop. You're right. Like, just the team that had the most success in the playoffs against this Chiefs' defense was the Bills, and that's because they could run the football. Right, and that's what the Niners can do. And so uh, I think this game for the Chiefs, they're going to want to get out to a lead early to force Brock Purdy to throw the football. I think the start is really important here uh, because if the Chiefs get out to a lead, then that that allows the the biggest strength on their team, which is their defense, to really kind of control the game, specifically their pass defense. But if they aren't able to do that and they force the Chiefs to kind of keep up, you know, you never know what could happen. Um, but that's that's the path, I think, for the Niners is getting out to lead, establishing that run. But they haven't done that yet in the playoffs, right? They've fallen no. behind twice, double digits to the well, Packers and the Lions. So I do think do they at least have them this? some confidence, though, that – because I, I think that was kind of the boogeyman for Kyle Shanahan is playing from behind. What was that stat they were throwing out last week where he was – 0-39 when trailing at halftime or something like that. Yeah. It was something ridiculous where yeah. I think he tightened up and would abandon the run quickly. Um, there's also part of me, too, that wonders if Kyle Shanahan's a great coach, but his two Super Bowls, he had one where he was the offense coordinator and it was the most epic collapse in Super Bowl history. Then he had another where he was playing the same team and he was kicking their ass for three and a half quarters and then Patrick Mahomes just went and Patrick Mahomes it. So, uh, yeah, I, I saw someone say that Kyle Shanahan is Eagles Andy Reid. And yeah, that kind of wow. made some sense to me. Yeah. I mean, knock it. 
knocking on the door every single year. You're just waiting for them to get over the hump, and then yeah. What if they just can't? Or what? Or what if he's um? Who is the Bills coach when they uh, lost Marvel all the Super Bowls? Yeah, uh, to the Cowboys. Maybe this yeah. is to me. The yeah, I, it almost feels like if the if the Niners don't do it now, it feels like they've got a roster reset probably coming here soon. Yeah, and so you have to wonder if this is their last real swing with this roster and with Shanahan. Um, with this group. Um, but having Purdy on that rookie contract is going to help them roster build, obviously, the next couple of years. Uh, where the Chiefs, are, they are the dynasty right now. And if then that would be a tough pill to swallow for the Niners to have a Super Bowl team potentially twice and lose to the Chiefs and Mahomes uh, both times would be tough. And they've kind of caught, yeah. caught some bad breaks. Two years ago, the guy drops the interception against the Rams. If yeah. they catch that, they might win the Super Bowl that year. And then Purdy gets hurt in the NFC Championship game um, right. last year. And another interesting stat, Shanahan, he's undefeated as a favorite uh, straight up in Ooh, the playoffs. Really? But he's got a bunch of games he hasn't covered. You know, just look at the last two weeks. Uh, and then his losses have been as a dog, uh, uh, you know, when he hasn't covered. So he's got more, lo- you know, some losses there, and there, but they were all when he was a dog. So that that's that's an interesting trend, I think, to follow this week. The other interesting trend is um, the jersey uh, selection, which uh, for the I love dumb betting trends like this. Um, <laughs> yeah, but they're also can be faithful <clears throat> because teams in white jerseys have won something like eleven of the last fifteen Super Bowls. Um, but one of those teams that didn't was the Chiefs, who wore this same uniform combination when they beat <laughs> the Niners. <laughs> Uh, was that six years ago? Something like mm-hmm. that? Five years ago? Yeah. So um, that that that's one of the more sillier trends. Uh, and the the team that has covered uh, has won outright. For the Bengals were like the first team in the last thirteen years to not they covered and didn't win. Um, so typically hmm. teams like even the Giants when they were big dogs to the Pats they covered. Yeah. Um, so, so if you're going to bet. Basically, what you're saying is, if you're going to bet the dog, you should cover, bet the money line. Yes. Yeah, just bet the money saying, line. Which at. I got, I got it plus one sixteen. Um, right now, it's just right at like plus one ten um, on Fanduel, and the Chiefs are two and a half point dogs. That number slightly went down uh, once the the total initially came out, uh, but you can play along. At FanDuel, FanDuel.com slash pigskin to sign up. You place a $5 winning wager and you get $200 in bonus bets to play around with. So win that first $5 wager on Saturday, playing some college basketball. Then you got $200 in bonus bets to play around with on FanDuel to win big with our friends at FanDuel. There's no Super Bowl. It's the last football game of the year. You got to go all in. I just I love getting a spot in front of the TV, having my snacks, having my wagers in line, checking, just having the phone out, being completely locked in. This is our last time to get locked in, and you can be locked in with FanDuel, whether it's players score a touchdown, totals, first quarter, halftime. They got it all. They even got Super Bowl squares. You can play it all at FanDuel, FanDuel.com slash pigskin to sign up. You'll get $200 in bonus bets if your first $5 bet or more wins. Just must be 21 and present. In Kentucky, first online real money wager. Only $10 first deposit required. Bonus issued is non-withdrawable. Bonus bets will expire seven days after receipt. Restrictions apply. See terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Call ga- gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Well, I, get, I did not... I did not... Typically, our, our friends at FanDuel, I, I don't have this, but we typically get a no sweat single game parlay. Definitely going to, yeah, I've got it, it says it right here. Right, the FanDuel app pulled yes. up no sweat single game parlay. I'm going to be building one of those. I haven't, I know the things that I can't do, and that's include the, the final score. Like, there's nothing worse than getting all of your player props correct and then they just don't cover, right? So, mm-hmm. I typically just bet one team or just stick to the players when you're building your snow sweat single game parlay. The market I'm trying to corner like it 
is the first time touchdown score bet because there's no thrill quite like <laughs> you get the national anthem, you bet the coin toss, it hits, you got the everybody's fired up, and you're just waiting for that first score. And if that hits, you can get some outstanding odds. So what I did like it, I did the like it tried and true method. I made a spreadsheet. And on go. my tr- on my trusty spreadsheet, I went back and I charted, okay, who scored the first touchdowns for these teams? And how many times did that bet hit? Well, it turns out the two best teams in the NFL are pretty good at being the teams that score first. The Niners had the first touchdown score 13 times. The Chiefs had it 14 times. Um, I actually didn't even look at the last game of the season for the Niners because they kind of that the game didn't really count. One thing that I thought was interesting, look at though, Christian McCaffrey was 50 50. If he scored the first touchdown, he did it, he did it six times scoring the first touchdown for the Niners. But half those times, it wasn't the first touchdown of the game. That that ticket didn't cash. I think that's a very bad value to take McCaffrey first. Another reason why I think it's a bad value is look at what's been the recipe of success for the Chiefs in the playoffs. Early they start leads. hot as hell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Early leads. I'm a Chiefs believer in this game in Patrick Mahomes. So I'm going to take the Chiefs. My question for you though, Luckett. Do we think Travis Kelsey is going to keep doing what he's done in the playoffs? Because Part of me is like he's going to get a ton of Taylor Swift money, right? So he's not, you, you would think the odds aren't going to be as good because Vegas doesn't want to take a bath. And secondly, like he wasn't – he's been good this year, but uh, the first time he was the first touchdown catch score, it was the last two playoff games. I think he said three touchdowns the last two playoff games, and he had didn't have that many in the entire regular season, right? Like he's been on fire as of late. Can he keep this up? <laughs> I, don't I would know. I would say no, but I've been off on the Chiefs this whole run. So um, I think Pacheco. If you're looking for Chiefs first, that's probably who I would roll with. Uh, he's so, been getting a lot of work. Yes, he could catch a screen for 18 yards. Uh, if they get inside the five, he's probably going to be the scorer. Um, so that would be the one I would look at. He's been the first touchdown score for the Chiefs six times this year. Four of those times, your ticket cash. And to your point, a lot of it was on the screens and whatnot. Um, and the other thing, too, I like to do first time anytime because then you yeah. get to double dip. Um, right now, Pacheco is plus 550 for first touchdown, minus 125. And I think I'm also going to take Rasheed Rice as a more of a long shot play for first touchdown at plus nine fifty. He's got three of those this year, if I'm not mistaken. One, two, three. Yeah. Four. Uh including one in the playoffs against the Miami Dolphins when he had that big game. So uh you could also I, I the one I did lock in was just Chiefs to score first. Um because I Andy Reid and that script, the 49ers secondary hasn't been the same since was it Tolonga, uh, the safety that got injured. Thonga. Yeah, Mafonga. Yeah, yeah, whatever his name is. Uh, so uh, that that was minus one hundred six was just taking the Chiefs to be the the team that scores touchdown first. Yeah, just using my little parlay builder here on the Fanduel app, I came up with one oh, right here, and it Chiefs centers just around score first. Okay, I think the Chiefs are going to win, but I also think we haven't really seen a big Debo Samuel game. I think we're going to get that eventually. Um, you could get him. Right now, his rushing yards prop, Nick, is 16 and a half. I've mentioned I think the 49ers are going to run the football. Ooh. So I think a lot of people are going to, you know, they oh, bet McCaffrey, bet McCaffrey. But I think they're going to have a plan for Debo in this game. Um, so you, 16 and a half minus 110. Debo, 40 plus rushing yards at 4 to 1. That's really, we need 120 plus yard run. If we get 120 plus yard run, we're going to get there. Debo, any touchdown, plus 140. You can get a Kansas City Chiefs money line, Debo anytime touchdown, Debo Samuel alternate rushing yards 40 plus, 
plus 27.25. So you're over hmm. 27 to 1 there uh, on, on a three-leg parlay. And that's going to be one I probably end up playing here on Sunday. Only needs a little bit of a sprinkle to to hit a bomb. Um, I, yeah, we're really just you're, it's a Debo Samuel bet more than anything that he's going to be a heavy factor in this game plan, and I just have a feeling he will. Um, just a hunch, and so give me Debo Samuel. Uh, the two Debo weeks Samuel to get healthy. Chiefs punt money line parlay. Right. Yeah, he's got two weeks to get healthy after getting banged up in the first playoff win over the Packers. The I'm kind of – is it weird that I, I, I kind of want to bet for a defensive touchdown too? I kind of got the that Chiefs itch. scored one last year. It was, Mike Edwards had one, one earlier this year. 97-yard touchdown, scoop and score. Um, you can bet Mike – Mike Edwards has the shortest total to record an interception at plus 500. Ball hawk. Might have <laughs> to do a little sprinkle in there just for uh, the old Wildcats' sake. He would become like it, the first ever. Or no, excuse me. He would be the first former Kentucky Wildcat to win a Super Bowl with two different teams. Uh, only one Kentucky Wildcat has multiple Super Bowl wins. Can you name it? Myron Pryor, maybe. He was with the Pats. Was he with the Pats twice? No, it's an old I don't guy. him. Yeah, it's a it's a guy in the seventies. So you probably won't get it. Let's just get. Did Chris Matthews get one with the Hawks? No, he was only on the one that they lost. So he recovered the onside kick, and then I thought there was a chance he could be Super Bowl MVP um, with a yeah. big touchdown, had a hundred yards receiving. Uh, yeah, he probably was, was the, if they just handed it to Marshawn. That was the Malcolm Butler pick game. Yeah, um, but the. The only Kentucky Wildcat to win multiple Super Bowls, Larry Seipel, is a receiver and punter for the Cats, got drafted by the Dolphins. They just they ended up making him full-time punter, and he was on the teams of Shula in the 70s that won all those Super Bowls. So a uh, little, little fun trivia for you there. Jacob Tamey, one of a few that has played for multiple yeah. teams in the Super Bowl, but he was uh, always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Some tough losses for Tamey. Um, the one with the – they just got absolutely blown out by the Seahawks. Mentioned that the Broncos, and then uh, he was on the Falcons when they lost, right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I, he was on the he was injured. I don't think he actually dressed for that game. But um, that one that he lost to the Seahawks, that might be the drunkest I've ever been for a Super Bowl because I, it was up there for me too. <laughs> I was in Gatlinburg for that Super Bowl. Well, and it snowed. It, it was it was yeah. probably snowing there. It was snowing in Lexington. I was still in college, and we got a keg for not a big like it was a, you know, fifteen like, it, but it wasn't like a huge party or anything. And the first quarter's happening, and we're like, guys, we got all this beer, we got to drink it, and so we just got blitzed. It was a, it was a hell of a time, hell of a time. Um, and then I think we went and had a snowball fight after the game. That was just a who. Ah, uh, to be young and dumb again. Yeah, and that game was over from the jump. Like, it wasn't really even a, oh, God. a game. Von Miller just like – no, wait, that wasn't the Von Miller one. Uh, what, that was who, one of the worst Super Bowls. Hit, that was who one was of the Panthers. Hit, yeah, who was it that just blew up Peyton's ass? On, didn't was they like strip sack Peyton? Yeah, just – oh, rocked yeah. his ass. And he was out for the count. But you could see – I can see a path where Chris Jones just absolutely destroys Brock Purdy and we get a scoop and score, right? Like, I can't really see that happening on the other foot um, with with Mahomes. Uh, Purdy has but, had some bad moments in these playoffs. Uh, you know, the Lions drop a pick in a big spot. He wasn't great against the Packers. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I didn't see the interception odds, but I did like Purdy interception. Uh, to maybe even throw in a parlay if you're trying to build something out because I feel pretty good about him throwing a pick against his Chiefs defense. Uh, yeah, Brock Purdy interception. You can't put in your parlay, but it's minus 132 for yes. So you'll have to bet it individually. Get a little bit of extra juice out of it. Um, 
I have just the biggest scratch in my throat. I don't understand why. It's very annoying. A uh, defensive player anytime touchdown score. Oh, you can even bet the player. I just want the team. I'm probably going to – because Edwards was like plus 5,000. Um, if you just get to TD score props, do we have just defense on here? Kansas City defense anytime, seven and a half to one. Might have to sprinkle on that a little bit too. Well, that's what's fun. Just a lot of sprinkles out there. And the first time I did this was when Mahomes lost the Super Bowl to the Bucks, And it was, I probably had like a dozen $5 bets out there. And most of them ended up washing by the end of it. Um, but look at I, my off the jump. I'm just, I'm kind of with you in that. I have a lot more confidence in Kansas City just being ready for this moment in this game and not letting it be too big for them. I trust Patrick Mahomes more. And more importantly, what we really have, I mean, yes, we talked, but Spags, the way he's called defense has been outstanding this entire playoffs. How many times, how many teams are getting Lamar Jackson to punt the ball seven times, right? Yeah. Like, you know, like that, he's, that defense has been incredible. And I, I, I think that, it's a lot different than the Lions' defense against against the Niners. Yeah, the big thing for me, like, if the 49ers do get out to a lead again and they end up losing in the fourth quarter, if Kyle Shanahan had, they had that happen to him three times in, what, the last decade, or the last eight years probably. I mean, He's going to get roasted online, man. <laughs> It'd be a brutal be day tough. on the internet. So, for him, I hope they win or they just get blown out because that would you don't want to – you know, you don't want that because you know that's what everyone's going to be saying, right? If it gets in the fourth quarter, say the Niners are up ten in the second, and you get in the fourth quarter, it's San Francisco twenty three, Kansas City twenty. Mahomes has got the ball with five minutes left. <laughs> Everybody's yeah, going to be like, yeah. "Is he really going to blow this again?" The best case scenario for Kyle Shanahan is for Brock Purdy to just be terrible, and then you can just be like, "Well, you know." Maybe another Jimmy G situation, right? Because people forget that Jimmy G had a chance to go win in the game, and he missed that deep throw. I forgot who it was. Well, too, that he... whole that team was was an awesome team, but if you made them drop back pass, they were in trouble with Jimmy G, and that's essentially what happened. They got in a situation where they couldn't play action fake anymore. Uh, and this one's a little. This team's different because they Purdy can drop back and they can throw a little bit. He can. Um, their well, weapons he can are better. I think at receiver. So. Third and Jawan. Yeah. Is a cool nickname for Jawan. I don't. Things. I don't think they're going to. Uh, Purdy's going to run on the Chiefs like he ran on um, that Detroit secondary. Uh, yeah, but he, he's he's good for one of those third down. You think they're getting off the field, and he extends the drive. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Um, look, are you one of those that gets? It's it's a Super Bowl show, so we have to talk about Taylor Swift. That's it's in the contract with FanDuel. Um, are you one of those that uh, cares, is mad about it, is happy about it, or just like doesn't care whatsoever at all? I just do not. I, I don't care. I really don't care. Yeah. I I, I don't like. I get why people are. She's on there a lot. Was excited. Like she's she's drawing a bigger audience, but I also don't understand what the big deal is. Like they're just painting, like they paint the famous people in the crowd quite a bit. They're painting to her, maybe one individual more than just yeah. all the time. But we saw Jason <laughs> Kelsey; he got as much air time as she did. You know? Yeah. If the Bengals playing the Chiefs in the playoffs again, and they're showing Taylor Swift a lot, I, my my opinion might be different. Uh, <laughs> But I think it's just people taking out their frustrations on the Chiefs. They're just sick of yeah, their probably. you know what. So they're taking yeah. it out on Taylor Swift. Could be. Which also they, she's the on there, she's on there a lot. And like back in the day, the Tony Romo, Jessica Simpson, um, people hated that too. They're just Twitter wasn't around. Um, yeah. Twi yeah. Twitter's just around. Well, I guess it was around back then, but it was it was probably like early Twitter. It, yeah, yeah. Pre X, definitely yeah. pre X. That was um, when she had the pink Cowboys jersey, and that was. I mean, every she was every broadcast they would show her, um, nonstop. And so this one, you know, 
there, there is a track record for this type of thing, but uh, it doesn't. It, I don't know, it does not bother me. Uh, but then again, if I had some skin in the game, uh, the, it could, I could see how it would get irritating if you're on the other side. Well, we got skin on the Chiefs. I am taking them. Money line, well, Mahomes MVP. I got him. I don't. Ooh, let's see what it is now. Did I get some good juice? I got it at like three seventy. Um, what are we looking at now? Look at plus one fifty, Mahomes MVP. Oh, oh I, I got it last week or before the NFC Championship. Did a little plus three seventy. So yeah, a little, ju- little, little juicy there. So, um, and I, I had been trying to to beat Mahomes forever. For the longest time, um, I I made a turn in that Ravens game. Well, I've bet the Chiefs haven't looked back. So, and, and here's another thing too. Look at what was our last repeat Super Bowl champion? Had to be the Pats. It's been a long time. There haven't there hasn't been was one that like twenty. In, that was early Pats, wasn't it? Yeah. It was 07 or like 0304. 0304. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't had one in multiple. Usually there's about one a decade. So we're due. We're due. And our money's riding on it. You can ride with us at FanDuel. Uh, If you're looking for a little single game parlay action, we'll share some on the KSR social media accounts. Try to get you some nice juice. Hope you have a happy Super Bowl. Hope you win all your bets, except the ones that are going against me. I hope you eat the most wonderful snacks. Um, which, by the way, if you're watching this early enough to order from KS Bar, you get $10 off if you get 50 bucks in catering. Just order by noon on Sunday. So, bada boom. Don't even have to worry about making the wings or the pulled pork or the cheese logs. They'll do it for you. KS Bar and Grill. KS Bar and Grill slash catering. Bada boom, bada bam. Two birds, one stone. Look it. It's been a pleasure. Hope you have a hell of a Sunday. It's our last ride. I will. If you're not eating chicken wings on Sunday, what are you even doing? Bottom line, am I am I okay if I just use boneless ones? Because we got I got some boneless ones that are just easy to make. Is that what? Is yeah, that if you're ma- you're scal- I'll, I'll, if you're making them at home, I will I will accept. Because you're you're scowling at me like you, you're <laughs> disgusting me, Roush. What are the What are you the dips at the Roush House? What dips are you we going with? D- definitely a queso. Um, and I know you're a big queso guy, uh, yeah. but we've got others bringing some dips as well. So actually, I might do the five layer dip. My mom makes this five layer dip that's like refried beans and sour yes. cream and yeah, cheese. I know what you're talking that, about. That, yeah, I think I might have to go with that one. That's that's a personal favorite. We, we buffalo chicken dip. We will have some skyline dip, which Ooh. I am a fan of. Oh yeah, I'm a big fan of. Get the Frito scoops for that. Um, and then we'll, we're going to run out and get some wings from somewhere. So Nice, nice. Excited. Uh, I, I'm excited as well. Uh, love uh, the dips. It's just the, it's the best snack in time. And for the love of God, sports world, Stoops, everybody, <laughs> we're on the site Sunday. Damn it, don't anything happen from 6.30 to 10.30 because I don't want to be writing it, all right? Yeah. So – well, we're, we're technically we're, we're still on the clock, but you know, you'll get your Super Bowl show commercial up on the website. We'll put the app alert out, but n- nothing, no, nothing else. We're not doing any offensive coordinator search news drops at, on Super Bowl Sunday. Okay, if we all just agree here. Good, thank you. This has been fun, like it. Happy Super Bowl, everybody. Go Cats and go Kroger. <laughs>